So this is uh, our patient for today, a young male, 34 years old. So the main symptoms is uh, lower back pain and right leg pain. So the patient has uh, have two main complaints. One is uh, lower back pain and the other one is uh, the leg pain. So for the low back pain, you can see on the MRI, he suffered from two degenerated discs, see, L4, L5, and L5, S1. So that may cause the back pain. But what caused the leg pain is, if you can see here, there is a nerve impingement due to the uh, herniated nucleus pulposus here. So the right traversing nerve root is compressed. So that makes the patient suffer from the leg pain. So a lot of options we can do for tackling this kind of condition. But one of the main thing is we have to discuss with the patient. A lot of uh, consideration to to think of first, yeah, what's the patient expectation? So what's the patient capability and the functional, uh, daily functional activity of the patient? So a lot of factors that we have to consider before we decide what to do, the, what kind of surgery that is needed to the patient, right? So after we can do only like decompression only for the uh, impingement, so, but it may resolve the leg pain, but maybe it won't resolve the back pain. Another option, we can replace the disc with, a, basically we can replace it with a cage. Yeah, so it's called fusion, or you can do a lumbar disc replacement surgery. So after discussion with the patient, he decided to do the lumbar disc replacement surgery. So what is it? We'll see. So this is the lumbar disc replacement device. One of the options to overcome painful degenerated disc or large disc herniation in the lumbar spine. So basically we just remove all of the patient disc and then we insert this device and you can see it can move, right? It can move. So this is called lumbar disc replacement surgery or lumbar disc arthroplasty. Another option is to fuse this with a cage, but uh, people want their lumbar spine to be able to move, right? So if it is an occasion to replace with the lumbar disc replacement, then we should replace it with the, this kind of device. So we have finished the operation, the lumbar disc replacement surgery. We decided to do replacement of L4-5 and L5-S1. This is the results. You can see this is the lumbar disc replacement implant. Yeah, One in L4-L5 and another one in L5-S1. So the basic principle why we replace with the total disc replacement so the patient can still move the L4, L5, and L5, S1 like we previously see when in the operation room, right? So hopefully the patient can still freely move and will have a low incidence of the adjacent segment degeneration above the level of the surgery if we do a fusion surgery. So yeah, we'll see the results and stay healthy always.